searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Hello, everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video. So I know I've tried to do Sims a few times on this channel, but I always end up dropping it. However, uh, something I really, really, really want to do is a build a city challenge. And I've tried to do it before, but it was very disorganized. I was all over the place. I didn't really follow any of the proper rules. So this time around, I went all out on setting up the save. I wrote out my own rules and I have a spreadsheet and everything. And I have an actual notebook that I physically write in. And I will insert a picture of it here. And it's just... It's really cute. I put stickers on it anyway. And I even have a little to do list that I've written out, you know, by hand. So let's go ahead and get started. So I want to show you some of the actually. Yeah, I'm going to show you what the camp looks like and then we're going to start our introduction. So this is the first camp. I'll do the other set of introductions when we get to that camp and I'll tell you what I mean when we get there. But this is base camp one and we're gonna put all the walls up. And this is what it looks like. I like it, it's very simple. And all of these areas, this is gonna where, this is gonna be where all of our plants and gardening and farming and stuff. Um, what kind of farming happens is going to be split between the two different bases. For this base, they're going to focus on actual gardening and stuff like that. And then the other base, it's going to be focused on the animals. Except one thing, uh, because this is Chestnut Ridge, it feels more appropriate. When I introduce horses, they will be introduced here and not on the other farm. But it's also because there's just a lot of open space anyway. But that won't be for a good long while. So basically, this is where all of our storage is. This is the only thing they've brought with them to, I guess, our new little world. And they won't be using this. This stuff will be for like parties or special occasions and stuff like that. And I won't be using the banking system, bait banking system for a while um so they'll be using these tip jars for their own money but they've not earned anything yet speaking of which i need to zero this out before i forget i was supposed to do that before we started recording but i forgot anyway so yeah this stuff will be for special occasions except for the water because you know they need water but all of this stuff this is what they brought with them from the new world and they'll be getting shipments from that other world you know the great beyond where there's a bunch of people where they came from they'll be getting shipments from them twice a year is what i wrote in my notes so and each shipment it could be anything you never know what it's going to be so you, you know they're just going to have to kind of wait and see what it is and this is stuff they brought with them so this does not count as like one of the shipments anyway so we're gonna go ahead, actually, I don't even know. Okay, yeah, we're in the spring. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and introduce everybody on this particular base. So here we have Brett Thompson and I have a custom, um, some custom things in my game. Um, eventually he's gonna be our very first firefighter. This feels like one of those essential things. Like I wanna have uh, firefighters doctors and farmers stuff like that like you know if there's a fire somebody has to put it out so that's going to be some of the very very first things we work on but later on for now obviously we're just going to be focusing on farming and getting everything built and so that's going to be him you know always there to help lend a hand help you know save the day and then we have sean He's a little pretty. I've had him um, save for a long time and I wasn't sure what to do with him, but this felt perfect. And he is going to be our winemaker. Did I seriously set him up as a winemaker? I guess that's what I have. So we got to stick with it. And so, yeah, he is very, did I seriously set him up as a winemaker? I just can't get past that. 
I want to pause him on a better facial expression. <sighs> Is this not happening? Whatever. You're just going to have to be paused like this with your eyes closed. Um, he's cheerful. He's a romantic. You know, obviously he's in, he's into wine. So he's into food and flavors and stuff like that. All right. So now we're going to introduce this little cutie pie. Her name is Allison Burks. And she is very friendly. She's probably going to end up being like a mayor or something. She is very into meeting people, making friends, talking to everybody, really checking in, stuff like that. You know, she's good at like organizing and setting stuff up. And she's more of just of a people person. And then we have this guy. I wasn't too sure about him, but I just... One of the random sims that popped up in the creative sim, I was just making sims and I ended up making him. And his name is, I'm probably going to get this wrong, I'm so sorry, Choi Han Kim. Again, it's probably wrong, so sorry. Um, and I just kind of gave him a makeover based off of what he already looked like in the creative sim. And he is self-assured, looks like he's a romantic, great kisser. Um... Obviously, he's an animal person. Like, all of the early people, they're all going to be animal people because that's what, you know, a lot of this is going to be handy. So he's really going to be, like, our little fixer-upper. He's really into animals, so he'll probably be the one to work on unlocking horses and stuff like that. And then eventually, I'll get more into the rules as we get into actual gameplay because I've set up a whole thing of rules and how to unlock things and... It's a lot. It was a lot of work. Um, and last but not least, on this camp, we have this other cutie pie. Her name is Erica Flowers. And she's also really into animals. And she'll probably be doing, like, the bulk of, like, uh, gardening and stuff like that. And she's also into animals, which I forgot I set up two animal people. Maybe I'll go in and change. No, no, no. It's already set in stone. I've already talked about it. So so he'll probably unlock horses. And I kind of want her to more so focus, focus on gardening. And then maybe she'll like, you know what she'll do? And I just thought about it just now. She's going to have like, because I want to set up actual animal shelters where, you know, there's somebody who brings in the animals from, you know, that are already roaming around and they shelter them. And I want to build actual little animal places where people could come and adopt pets. And then I'll just transfer them over, like how you move uh, households. And then that's how I'll do it. Because I don't know, it just feels like that'd be a little more fun for me. And then maybe she'll also be a veterinarian. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. But yeah. And I need to make sure I write that down because I actually really love that idea. And then so this is our first set of uh, folks that are moving here and settling in. And then we're also going to cut to the second camp and I will see you over there in just a minute. So here we are on the second base and usually in build a city challenges, you start off in one world. However, I know how I am and I'm going to get very bored with that very quickly. So instead I decided to give them two bases in two different worlds. And then how it's going to work is they're going to have to unlock tra traveling between the two worlds because certain worlds are good for certain things. And I want them to unlock that. So there's no animals yet but they do have the coops and the uh thing for the this thing the cow anyway and then just like the other base they have a bathroom showers and this is the same type of shed it has same supplies again this is what they came with and they'll get two shipments a year and uh I guess all base base camps, these two, these are the only two like real base camps. So right now they'll get two shipments a year. And just like the other one, it might be something different. 
all of these supplies are the same thing because um because it just is however in the future when they get shipments in it could be completely different than what the other base has and so this one will be more focused on eggs and um stuff like that like actual products from animals that's what they'll be more so focused on also their base is smaller but they have there's a lot of stuff around here. If you've played uh, in Hinford on Bagley, then you know how big this world is. But yeah, so it is a much smaller space, but it's cute. So now to introduce you to the actual Sims, we're going to start off with this cutie pie. Her name is Demi Jolly. Did I really name her that? Anyway, um, she's a serial romantic. Um, I don't know what she's going to do, like, profession-wise. She'll probably get into art because she looks very, like, fashion-forward more so than the other Sims I have. Which is also a good way to get money up. So, yeah, that's likely what she'll focus on other than romancing and stuff like that. And these, these two Sims I've had for a very long time. I just have no idea what to do with them. This is Cliff Hansen. I thought he was really cute, but again, I just, I don't know what to do with him. He was going to be in the other Build-A-City that I did, but that one, it just, I was not prepared. I was not, there was no notes, nothing. He's going to be our tech person. However, we won't have actual technology for a while, so we'll probably just help out on the farm where he can. But when we start unlocking, like, electricity and stuff like that, this will be our guy. Now, her... She was in my personal build a city, but I'm bringing all of them here slowly. We'll be unlocking, you know, um, other people coming in slowly over time. And yeah, this is Callie Colvin, and she caused me so many problems in my personal save. She was trying to flirt with everybody else's man. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes here. So she is, I had her originally unlock the spa um, in my personal save. So she'll probably be more focused on stuff like that, on like yoga and self-care and stuff like that. Obviously, she'll still be helping out with the farm, but um, yeah. And then last but not least, and actually not last but not least, we have one more person after him. We have this guy, and his name is Julian Watkins. So he is our brainy person, really into books. He's really, really smart. He probably knows like a billion random facts. So yeah, he's gonna be our logical person. Obviously, just like everybody else, everybody has to help out on the farm in some way, but he will be more focused on, you know, Probably the business side or like anything that involves random knowledge. But I'm thinking he's gonna be our 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 second smart person because this dude, he's a computer smart, but this guy, he's like book smart. And you know, it's nice to have some variety in your life. Um and last but not least, we have Lucy Hale. I didn't realize that hadn't introduced her. She's also like very beautiful. So she's going to help with the farm, but probably to a lesser extent, just like uh, Demi. Like I really don't see them touching much that's outside. But um, she is, what is she? She's an animal person. That is actually really surprising. Did I seriously make her an animal person when she looks like she's supposed to be a model? Anyway. It's already set in stone, so can't change it. But I see her being more of like a cat dog person, stuff, stuff like that, maybe hamsters. And I think just like the other young lady on our first base, she'll probably also run a shelter. Except, you know, I really don't see her doing a lot of like the hard label. She'll probably hire people, but she still loves her animal babies all the same. So yeah, I think the other young lady maybe she'll focus on bigger animals and then maybe this young lady will focus on smaller animals easier to handle because i don't really see her getting her hands dirty 
but I could be wrong. We'll see. You know, Sims, they have a personality of their own. And you'll try and like set stuff up and then they'll still want to do their own thing. So yeah, hopefully I set everything up. Um, I made a whole list. I have all these notes. It's, it's a lot, but I'm really excited about this series. And this episode is just meant to be like an introduction, introducing the characters and showing you the farm and everything. So again, there's only two bases and yeah, I'm really excited about this episode. If you've never heard of a build a city challenge before, so build a city challenge is basically like a, it's a challenge in The Sims. Um, I would say Sims 4, but you can also do it in The Sims 3 and The Sims 2, but I'm focusing on Sims 4 for it. And you basically start off with nothing, like at all in any world. Every world is completely empty. I will link down below in the description um, a save file that you can use to start off with, um, I use a save file that I set up because I wanted all of the townies still there. Uh, the save file that everybody else tends to use has everything stripped, all the townies and all the builds. I wanted to keep the custom. I wanted to keep the EA townies because eventually I do want to incorporate werewolves and vampires and stuff like that. And typically people who want to do challenges like this, they don't want that. And so basically everything you're building up yourself, you're adding um, your townies to um, lots yourself. And every new set of townies usually means that you have to sometimes pay something or unlock something or work towards something. So everything is very rule based. Um, again, there's a couple of spreadsheets, but the one that I'm going to link down below has a spreadsheet and has a whole set of rules that you can follow. I will be following some of those rules. I'll be following some of the other sets of rules that's out there. And a lot of it, like most of it, the bulk of my rules, I've written out myself because I wanted to set everything up in a way that I would enjoy it. And yeah. So I just wanted to give a quick little description. Basically, you're building everything up yourselves. Now, the actual lots, you technically don't have to build them yourselves. There's a lot of beautiful lots on the gallery. I will be building all of mine because I think it will add to it. But yeah, and this is a very like long haul type of gameplay. And I do want to add another Sims 4 Let's Play to my to my channel, but I still need to set that up. I'm still building in that world that I want to do it in. And that'll be more of like a regular family type of gameplay, except I want to set it up sitcom style and I really want to just focus on different things with different members of that family, but that's for like way later on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I am looking forward to see you in the next episode where I'll be doing the actual gameplay and that will be our official like episode one for this series, part one, I guess you should say. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel. Again, the spreadsheet will be the spreadsheet and the rules and all that stuff will be down below, as well as a link to the save file that's completely stripped of everything that will also be linked down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'll see you ne next time, everybody. Bye bye.